Hey guys, it's Talia and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So for today, we're going to be planning the week of August 17th and I am super excited because I'm going to be using uh, one of the kits I picked up from KC Creates and it's a super cute back to school kit. I hauled it a few um, videos back if you guys want to see those a little bit closer. So there's that. I do have some date dots from Planner Kate and then I just have some random stickers that I picked up. So let's get into it. Um, oh, and I have this washi. <laughs> I'm just like, my mind is like running a million miles an hour. Last week I didn't post any videos and I felt bad, but I was having such a bad week that I just, I just kind of took the time to just be. It was a hard week, <laughs> a very hard week. Um, and I'm not like saying that to be like, oh, pity me, but it was tough. Um, like I was getting the worst sleep ever. Um, I think I should cut that off because I just, I'm the type of person that I can't shut my brain off at night and it's, re it's really hard to do so. And so I was just like thinking way too much this past week. And so then because I couldn't sleep, I was just so tired. And while I do drink coffee, I can't drink coffee that often um, because it makes me sick. But so I was trying not to drink too much coffee, but I needed coffee. And then so the mornings were tough and then work has been really hectic, like zapping all of my like energy and I, I mean I work on a computer all day and while some people say like how are you tired from working on a computer all day like it is tiring because like you're literally staring at a screen all day um but so I was just you know I wasn't getting enough sleep I was tired and work like I said was super super busy long days I was just <laughs> over it and then let's see what else happened because I had quite the eventful week um okay so I said I didn't get sleep lots of work then my so I and I talked about this on the video or I was going to talk about this on the video I was gonna post last week the plan with me but I did it and I'm really annoyed because I was going to be using or I used the Save the Elephants kit for my friend Alexander from Ale Alexandra Nicole Plans, her Etsy shop. And it was super cute and everything like that, but just, you know, last week wasn't happening. But um, I'm following the budget mom, well, loosely I say this. And so we, are, we have some things that we wanna do and accomplish and wanna pay off um, debt and stuff like that. And I loosely also followed Dave Ramsey before, but it just, it worked for a bit, but it didn't work. Um, I, you know, I think there's something for everyone. And just because it works for a large portion of people doesn't mean it's going to work for you. But I started following the budget mom because I heard a lot about her. And so I was like, okay, give it a shot. I didn't want to pay for her book. Um, she had one that had like included budgeting and things like that, but it was already a planner and I was like, well, I already have a planner and I don't need another one. So I just kind of like took her concept and created my own Excel worksheets, which were great. And I've just been like binging her videos, uh, to, you know, help me kind of, like I told you, I think I told you guys in a video. I'm not sure if I did. I feel like I did. But I am the type of person that needs to immerse themselves in like whatever they're trying to do. So like when I was doing, when I was like super into like all the hauls, which happens all the time, like I was just watching, um, what should we call it? A whole bunch of planner videos. And then I was like, okay, not that. When I want to do budgeting, I just, you know, I kind of focus on that or whatever. And so that's literally all I've been watching. Her pennies into pearls. And I don't, I'm not someone who follows somebody like to a T. I'm very much like everything is not going to work for everyone. So you just need to kind of take what is going to work from each thing and incorporate it into your life. So like, 
the budget mom if you guys haven't heard about her before she's on youtube and on instagram and i really like her because she does budget to but budget to budget paycheck to paycheck budgeting which i like and through when i started dave ramsey a lot of people focused on monthly and i couldn't do that because i budgeted per paycheck and so it always threw me off i never understood it and so that's one of the aspects like it didn't really work for me i really like these headers i don't know if you like they're like jaggedy i don't know they look like a color swatch oh yes ooh, i like um so you know and she's at least for me like i feel like she's a little bit more realistic like things come up like you know plan for your real life and whatever um so i personally like her better once again it's everyone you know, you have to find what's going to work for you. So, I've been literally focusing any spare minute I have on, like, doing that, working our budget, putting, like, figuring out our sinking funds and all that stuff. And it's not that I've never budgeted before. I think, I mean, I still might have some budgeting videos on here, but it's just, like, for me, I've realized through quarantine and if you haven't seen cindy from loma letters uh her video about quitting instagram like a lot of it was just like i was filling a void during quarantine you know her her video really hit me hard and it's like i don't like do i love shopping absolutely but i know that i was doing it because like i was feeling a type of way my emotions were everywhere because of being in quarantine while i do like i would consider myself and most people, I guess, like, if you don't know me, like, introverted, like, I still like to go out. I don't like to be around people or talk to people necessarily, but I do like to be around people, and I think that kind of affected me a lot, and I didn't think about it until, like, all the boxes started showing up. Oh, I like this. This is super cute. Um, so that's something that I've kind of learned through her video, but also with hers, it's like, she's talking about how the planner community has turned into a lot of advertising, like, I love that like maybe a company will send them something and then all of a sudden they're like oh my god this is the best thing in the world when they've never used it before and then you know some maybe put it in a giveaway and they don't keep it or whatever whatever to each their own but it did hit me hard because I don't want to be somebody because honestly I don't think of myself as an influencer I mean I love just planning in my planner you know what I mean and I know that when I share stuff, some of you guys tell me that you guys pick it up and things like that, which I think is cool because I'm like, oh, look, we're shopping at the same place. But it hit me because I don't want anyone to feel that I'm telling you, like, you have to go out and buy anything because I personally, like, I hate that as well. While I'm very easily influenced, I, I understand, like, first off, not everyone's in the position to be buying stuff all the time and, like... And I know some some of them, like, they buy stuff because, like, it's, they're using it for their business, it's the income that they're getting. I don't, I think I've made, like, $100 off of my YouTube channel, uh, and that's it. You know what I mean? Like, so to me, it's not like, oh, let's get money. It's more of like, I like doing this. It's fun. And this is not going to cover all of it. Um... So, but for some people, that's their business. And I completely, completely understand. Like, you have to do stuff. And especially with the pandemic, a lot of people aren't shopping as much. So, people are maybe going a little hardcore on their swipe ups or like, you should buy this type of thing. But I just, to me, it's just like, I wanted to make sure that I don't ever make you guys feel like you have to buy something. Because to me, like, if you want to buy something, by all means, like, if it's in your budget and you're, you know, that's what you want to do. Because I'm not... I'm the type of person, like, I'm not trying to be in anybody's money, like, that's your money, you know, type of thing. That's why, like, to me, sometimes when people, like, give you budgeting advice, like, you shouldn't be spending your money here or here, I feel a type of way because while I think that it's a good thing to help everyone out and, you know, be financially stable so that you can do the things that you want to do, um, I also don't think you should tell people what to do with their money, um, but that's a, another conversation for another day. But overall, what I really just wanted to say is like, I hope I don't make anyone feel like they have to go out and buy things because I started reevaluating things. And like, I, besides the fact that um, this past week as well, my debit card got freaking, I got a fraud alert on it. 
like <laughs> I feel like that was like you're spending too much money which really honestly I haven't been spending money the I got it after returning stuff I found stuff when we bought the house I bought some stuff that I was like oh we can use it for x y and z and then we never did and I was like well that's like almost thirty dollars or was thirty dollars it's like I'm not gonna just you know lose the $30. I was like, let's go return it. I returned it and instantly I got a charge for like $1,000 at an Airbnb. And I'm like, great. So, you know, my week was just getting better and better. But, um, you know, it's just, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with this. It's just, I just don't want anyone to feel like I'm telling you, like you have to go buy, go out and buy things. The stuff that I have tried, like, or the sticker shops that I talk about, like, there's sticker shops that either I've like been staring at, like I've been wanting to buy things from them or they're ones that I like, I actually love. Like I don't have any problem talking about new stickers and things like that because I definitely think that it's important to realize like there's a lot of other sticker shops than maybe like the two that you know. I just, I do. And so I don't have a problem because most of the time I do like, there's like probably like a list of like at least 50 sticker shops that I stare at that I'm like, I want to buy stuff from them, but I'm also like, you can't buy any stuff right now type of thing. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm just rambling at this point, but I just don't want you guys to feel like I'm pressuring you to buy anything because I don't think you should. I feel like if you want to come and look at the cute stuff that people have, I think that's one thing, but like, I don't ever want you to feel like you leave like watching a video of mine feeling like I'm telling you like you have got to buy her, her stuff, his stuff, their stuff, whatever stuff, because I just... I don't know. Clearly, I had like a moment, you know, with all this stuff. It's just uh, that has also been hanging my head because I'm like, oh, I don't want anyone to feel like I'm pressuring them because I don't like to be pressured. That's why I don't like I literally bought my car through where did I buy it? Through Carvana, like an online site, because I don't like people pressuring me like I have to buy something. That's why I don't like salespeople, even though I appreciate the hustle because you have to work really hard sometimes, especially if you're just commission based. But I just, I personally, it freaks me out. I'm like, oh, I can't make a decision. So, wow, that was a lot of rambling. Okay, um, so I did get my debit card frauded, which was fun. And then, to make it even better, I had to go to urgent care on Friday because I had, like, a wonderful whole, almost whole body. Apparently, it was an allergic reaction. I did the worst thing possible and I googled it you guys let me tell you don't google it because it I had one of many things one it's always you can you can always either be dying or pregnant I've noticed that anytime I've googled the symptom of anything it's one of those two and I don't even remember what I was like freaking out so I ended up going because I had and it wasn't a rash but see and that you won't be able to tell because the lighting but just imagine, you know, like when a blood vessel like pops underneath your skin, you know, and it's like a little red dot. Yeah. So imagine that from like my chest down and then crawling down my arms. That was, I noticed it Thursday and I was like, um, okay, that's different. Um, and I was like, you know what? It's probably, you know, I let it go. I was like, it's probably nothing, you know, maybe I don't know. I was trying not to think about it, to be honest, because I'm, <laughs> I'll admit it, I'm a hypochondriac. I will like, you know, and I have really bad anxiety. So like it didn't sit well. So, but then Friday morning, it got worse. Um, it, like the spots got darker. And so I was like, let me just go. Because one of the other things it said is that it could be an allergy um, to medicine and I do take take medicine. So I was freaking out because it's like great. I don't really want to ha be having an allergic reaction to my medicine, even though now that I think about it, like it probably wasn't my medicine because um, I've been on it for like six months now. So, but anyway, so I was freaking out. You know what I mean? Me, just a little me just freaking out. Um, so I had to go to urgent care that figured out. So now I ended up trying to make an appointment because where we're at in our area now, like I haven't been to an actual doctor, so I don't have like a primary care physician slash I don't go to the doctor anyways, because I'm like afraid 
a fr like anxiety through the roof, blood pressure through, like I'm super scared of doctors. <laughs> and honestly, it's only because um, I'm like, they're probably gonna tell me there's something wrong with me, which is why I'm scared. Um, which I mean, I know that's probably why I should go to be like, make sure everything's okay, but still. Okay, so I'm gonna try to just lay some of these down while I just continue to ramble on. Um, so I have a doctor's appointment on Monday. I'm just doing like a regular, I guess, like a physical. I don't know what you do when you go to the doctor, but like, I mean, I know I've been to the doctor before, but like outside of like, hey, I have this random rash on me. What do I do type of thing? Like, I think I'm just gonna get like a physical, like a yearly, annual, whatever you do at the doctor. And um, so I'm gonna do that. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, you guys see, I had an eventful week. I think I'm just gonna put these all the same on the same box all the way across or the same space. It makes it easier. Um, so yeah, I just, this week has just, you know, it's been a lot. And, uh, oh, so yeah, and then I was really annoyed too because <laughs> another thing I hate doing is going into the bank and so, I set up my stuff for the, my budget mom type budgeting system thing. And I was gonna take out money for my cash envelopes and stuff like that. And I was just going to go to, I'm trying to find, pick different backgrounds. I was going to go to the ATM. I was like, okay, that's just easier. Nope. And then the other thing I was like, I had to figure out if I, how I could even do this because it happened Thursday. It happened Thursday. Yes, it happened Thursday. Okay, so this is the part that I always get confused on. Please be on the same. I guess I can just flip it open. Um, I don't forgot. Oh yeah, they. I couldn't go into the bank without an appointment. So then I was trying to figure out like, okay, that's cool, but how do I get money? because uh, I can't use my card. And I was just like adamant because I was like, I want to start my budget today and blah, 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 blah. And so um, I figured it out. But it was just a very stressful week. You know what I mean? And then like yesterday we went to Costco, which was a lot of fun. You guys know I love me a Costco trip. But I was so proud of myself, you guys, because I'm, Here's the thing, I'm not s saying that like, you know, I, I suck with money. Um, I will also say that th I'm thankful that I've been in bout like, like little seasons of like super hard budgeting, not budgeting, super hard, you know, I deal with a lot of things and I'm slowly starting to realize what exactly are my triggers, um, similar to what the budget mom was talking about. And so, which is nice. So I am aware like I can't use my credit card and you know, it's just, I do, I, I will, that's one thing, I will never get rid of it because I know that there's always something that, an emergency that, who knows what, but um, I just know that I can't use it. And so, you know, it's just like finding those things that, that's gonna work out for you and everything like that. I don't, honestly, I get into these tangents and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry to everyone who's watching. <laughs> Because half the time I remember like what I'm talking about and then I'm like, what am I even talking about? Okay, you guys, I absolutely love how this turned out. I'm glad that this washi, I was between this and like a polka dotted one, but I like this one better because it like brings it all together. So I have one um, full box left, but that's okay. But I think this looks beautiful. Okay, let's get back to the things at hand that are happening this week because they're very important. We're getting our chairs finally, just saying that. It's amazing, it's happening, I cannot wait. Um, I don't know what time yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the morning. Just because, you know, I want to get them early. I'm gonna put that out into the universe. That we're gonna get our chairs early. I cannot wait, it has been one, June, two months at least two months since our other pieces got delivered and then three or four months, no, three months since we actually ordered them. So 
very excited. Okay, so there is that. And then what else are we doing? I do kind of want to put some of these decorative ones down, but we'll see. Because now I really, I'm looking at my camera, I'm like, bro, you talked way too long. Too long. Sorry, you guys. I didn't talk to you guys last week and that felt weird. Um, it was nice to like not worry about like putting up a video. And I do have, I will say I do have some, um, I think I had like a haul from like the, from last week. Cause I was, like I said, I was going to use my friend's kit, which I did. Let me quickly just flip back. And so I wanted to haul that so you guys can see it. So I'll probably do that. Like the hauls that I was going to do last week, I'll still put them up this week. So there may be some more videos, but I don't know. We'll see how this week goes. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not as bad as this past week, but you know, in this grand scheme of things, it wasn't awful. So I can't complain that much. Okay, I kind of wish this one came with a little bit more, whatever these box, these like appointment labels are, but um, we're gonna make it work. We are going to make it work. So, but yeah, let me know. See, this is my problem also. Like, I'm like, I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Boom, talking about it. Um, I think I'm just gonna set this in the center. Let me know, do you guys follow the budget mom? Or do you guys, Dave Ramsey? Like, I'm all, do what you're gonna do. I feel like that's, I've mentioned that a lot, you guys, that I am for everyone doing what they think they need to do is best for themselves. So if you like one type of person that I'm not for or that you feel is more successful, I am for it because if that's gonna work for you and make you successful, that's all I care about. Okay, we're gonna be fancy and do a church. <laughs> I feel like I'm so creative even though I'm not. <laughs> okay, so then I have my book and then that's it. I'm going to use one of these cute ones because why not? I don't know where, I'm gonna smack them right here. Like even though this is like a lot of, using up a lot of space right here, I haven't had a lot of to-dos, so I think it should be fine. Okay, then I'm going to quickly, I wanna use these because I think they're stinking cute, but I don't know what to do with them. You know what I mean? That doesn't even look like it should be there. What if we do like these scissors? Ah. Ooh, that's kind of cute. <laughs> My little one decorative piece. Um, I don't know what else to do. Oh, I like highlighters. Mm, see, I like it. Okay, we're gonna go with that one. Um, and I think that's just, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Cause we still have the whole week to plan things that are coming our way. Hopefully not as stressful as last week. I hope you guys had a wonderful week and it wasn't anywhere close to how stressful mine was. And at the end of the day, in the grand scheme of things, you know, we're here, we're, you know, trying to thrive and that's all that matters. Like it could have been worse. And so I'm very thankful that it wasn't. So there is that. You guys, it's so pretty. You guys, I tell myself, I am like, I'm not the type of person that uses the box. I'm not the type of, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm just saying, but I'm obsessed. Obsessed is like, I, I don't know what else to say because it is absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited. I may not be in school, but this is the cutest thing ever. I'm so, so, so excited. Anyways, that's how it turned out for this week. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.